this is a Princeton Day School uh, yearbook from 1983. Sixth grade, you can see here, there's Eric and me next to him in our class picture. I was raised in Princeton, New Jersey, and I grew up with Eric Menendez. Eric was focused on tennis, and we jokingly gave each other's autographs because we had decided they were both going to be competitors and win the gold medal in the 92 Olympics. Lau had aspirations of going into politics. I'd been there for the dinner conversations where Jose had made the comments about, well, you know, if you want to be a senator, this is how you got to think about this, this, and this. Jose struck me as a typical uh, immigrant father. You've come to this country to make a better life for yourself, for your family. You've got to do everything to the best of your ability. I come home and my mom and dad had this look on their face and they were just like, John. Eric's parents are dead. I couldn't process it. I could not wrap my mind around what could have happened. People were trying to make a big deal over they went on this big spending spree. They were spending money before, but just somebody else assigned the check. Eric and Lau were never people to just sit there and do nothing. It was, you gotta stay active, you gotta be productive. It was just in the news constantly. I couldn't escape it. I didn't know who killed them, but I know it wasn't Eric and Lau. Eric stopped by my parents' house, and he was like, I just wanted to say hi to you and let you know I'm okay. And my dad told me when he, you know, when he talked to Eric, he was like, all he wanted to do was give him a hug because he just felt so horrible. Um, my immediate response was, this is bogus. You know, how are they accusing, you know, my buddy and his brother for this? This is, this is ridiculous. I was completely caught off guard. Um, I was devastated. I didn't doubt that. Families keep dark secrets, and there are secrets that every family has. But it had me questioning a lot of things about myself, my awareness of people around me. I went all the way down that path of, like, could I have done something? Should I have noticed something to have prevented this? It came down that they have a hung jury. And so it's being declared a mistrial. I just couldn't process them. How is it a hung jury? I believe the defense. I was, I was devastated. I, all I kept thinking was, my friend is gonna spend the rest of his life in jail. He and I are never gonna hang ever again. I believe as a society, we need to continue moving forward in our understanding of human nature and I applaud the TikTokers for their desire for that. My hope is that Eric and Lyle find peace, whatever that means for them.